But every time you go like this, turn your head towards me, turn towards the side, hip out a little bit. Boom, look, he's get, getting this good position every time. So what I want you guys to do is bring your elbow inside and put it next to his head here. It's not wrong to grab from here, but I want you to get used to guys to playing this position. Elbow onto the floor here first. Flare the face out, find the neck, and start to drive in a little bit here. So you're gonna use this to set up two moves. And it'll depend if our partner's arm is here or if the partner's arm is under. But the first step is going to be set in control position number one. Elbow goes in front of the face first. Then I turn the face out, grab the shoulder, and sometimes you can get the submission here. Anytime someone is here, unless both hands are already here, your partner is always going to try to turn towards you. So boom, like this. And now it becomes like much harder for me to deal with. So if you ever catch your partner flat for like a split second, and you're in side control position number one, if I start to go here, it doesn't matter how much I start to drive into his neck, he's gonna be able to turn towards me. Turn towards me, slide away your hips more. Boom, look, he's always gonna be able to create that space. So we're gonna do the opposite. So I'm starting here, side control position number one. First thing I'm gonna do is bring my elbow in front of his uh, face here. And again, be nice using my soft forearm here. Step two, I'm gonna make him walk away first, then I'm gonna grab his shoulder. Now I can apply pressure onto his neck. Maybe it's a submission, maybe it's not. But more importantly, turn your head back into me. Look, my form, and if I want, I could just see my body to reinforce it. So I could use my form here. If he's really strong, I feel like he's gonna win. I could use my body to reinforce I'm sorry, like I know it's uncomfortable. But you need to make your partner look away from you if you wanna give him hard time from bottom. So a lot of times my escapes work. It's not that my escapes are good, it's that I'm just able to turn my head towards you. So when you guys say here, Step one, right? Bring your form inside. So even if he starts to turn into me, he already has an obstacle here. Step two, flare the face out, find the neck. I'm driving my form into his throat to try to bug the neck, make him think like I'm gonna submit him. But more importantly, I'm not letting him uh, turn his head into me. If he tries to turn, I don't let him. And if it's someone stronger, 300 pounds, what I do is I hip out and I caress my weight like this. Now he tries to turn towards me, it's almost impossible. So I want everybody to drill that first step and then we're gonna cover what to do when the hand is here and what to do if the hand is here. But I want you guys to get that first part because if you take anything away from today, it's this move. One, two, three. Again, the most important part is just to make your partner look away from you. So every time I try to ride the neck like this, I'm already helping him. So just the idea of the sexual control position I want, bring your form inside here. Like sometimes I use my shoulders, sometimes I use my form, just make him look away, con connect the position here. So if his hand is inside here, right? You know, you could still grab the shoulder and start driving forward to get the choke, but because his hand is here, it becomes like much more difficult. So what I do instead, I don't even try to finish the choke from here because I know he's gonna bring this hand up. So we gotta do an arm bar instead. So I'm here, side control position number one. I bring my hand inside, start messing to make him look away. My right hand's gonna come to the front of this one. And I'm gonna start to choke. He needs to feel the pressure. So when I feel him defending that choke, make it difficult for me, my right leg is gonna slide underneath his arm. Right, I'm gonna have to bring my hips up so you can see, but you're not gonna bring your hips up. Your weight is kinda gonna be a little bit forward like this. So notice how my right leg swivels under. I'm gonna pass my left leg through, and look what I do, we're gonna be gentle to each other, but I'm sitting my thigh here on his face, bringing my knee up, and ending up in this position. So the ideal way, right, ideal way, is I'm making him look away from me still. Right, I'm still making him look away from me. If he turns towards me, it's okay, but you want to use once the thigh lands on the face, is to make your partner look away. You pinch your knees together, two hands on one, lifting your hips up to apply the pressure. So the general idea here, like if he's, if he's here, imagine his head is away from me here. This is gonna have a little bit of space. So what I'm doing, I'm bringing my right leg inside, left thigh comes over, and the way I sit on the bottom right, I switch my base to the left and pull my knee up. His arm will come up, right? When I'm here, just get nice, good grip, sit back, two hands on the wrist, and again, I know it's gonna be uncomfortable for all of you guys, but work with your partner and work on making sure when your partner tries to work on me, you make that thigh head, you don't matter. You squeeze your knees together and lift your hips up to finish. So one more time. You guys are here, side control position number one. You come inside here, you start working that choke, he starts to kind of defend, you feel like you're gonna lose it. Step one, 
two, right? Have the arms, three. Pinching tight and making sure you're pushing your thigh away to make him walk away. Find the wrist, two hands, whatever grips you guys like, keep your knees tight, lift your hips up to finish the submission. And a lot of times when I do this, is and people escape this because they get too excited and people like head is here. So when I jump here, they're ready to turn towards me and they're exactly, they do this. But if the head is away here, right? And you bring your legs inside here, it's too late for him to do that move. So let's walk this through. I start side control position number one. I'm gonna bring my forearm inside, flare his face out, find the neck, and start looking to choke him here. Once his hand touches my elbow, I know he's gonna be able to defend the choke. Step one, right leg goes uh, behind uh, his shoulder here. I'm keeping my leg low. Uh, if you remember to bring the right hand in front here, it's a little bit better. Uh, if your hand stays by the hip, that's fine too here. Uh, both variations are okay here, if you want to. Step two, I'm gonna replace my form that's on his face with my thigh. Mm. Sit through, get the grip. Some people like this grip, sit through like this grip. It almost like doesn't matter what you grab. The most important part is that you're heavy on his head here. So if he tries to turn towards me, it should be not impossible, it's very difficult. I fall back, right knee naturally comes up. Whatever grip you guys like here, the most important part, I'm gonna keep driving my thigh through his face here, pinching my knees tight, lifting my hips up to finish. Side control position number one. Elbow goes to the inside first, then I start to flat out and bug the neck. And then if you combine all the steps together, it looks like this, very quick arm bar. But just as soon as you get here, take your thigh, make it heavy. Right on here, make it heavy. Pinch your knees, apply the pressure by lifting your hips up. Let's give it a try, guys. One, two, three. We just talked about the arm bar that you could attack. But some people, they have their arm underneath. Like sometimes like you find like kind of this position, people have this arm on this, or especially like if you start like this, um, so they could kind of like like work different escape. Like yes, exactly, exactly go out the back door. Sometimes people do that. Sometimes you trick your partner into getting the arm inside here. And this is where same principle applies. I'm just gonna start from this position. Let's say my partner's arm was here now, instead of here, right? It was already here, and I started uh, in side control position number one. The first thing I'm gonna do is uh, you can either control the head first or you could grab the shoulder first like this, right? You could look at the shoulder. A lot of times if you grab the shoulder though, he's gonna know like I want to get the choke. So he's gonna drop the shoulder down, turn his head towards me and start yeah, escaping and it becomes difficult. So you could do that, but why not stop him from turning into me first? So I'm gonna do the same thing, make that frame, turn his face away, grab the neck. Now my right hand's gonna find that shoulder. Once I find the shoulder, I'm gonna drop my forearm inside his neck, lift his shoulder up and sprawl my legs and keep trying to his neck to get the choke here. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. With gi, once you have the gi, that, you're definitely getting it. It's like it's a very good choke. Maybe sometimes it's a little bit room for your partner to wiggle out. So once I'm here, I'm trying to finish this choke and he grabs my arm, he starts peeling it out here. I'm like, oh man, I'm losing the choke. I'm gonna switch my back. I'm gonna bring my left leg over his leg, right leg under his leg. So he can't go away from me, right? Connect palm to palm. Drive the elbow up, lift my hips up to get the submission. So I'm here, I'm driving up, and sometimes if you feel like you're not strong with the arms, lift your hips up to get the submission. He's not going anywhere. Not today's class, but just to give you very good. If somehow I start to lose the arm, you have good position for attacking either the knee bar, you know, like ankle lax, whatever you guys want. So that's why I want you guys, you know, get used to splitting the leg with your feet. Like sometimes people do this move, they uh, put one leg on their ear or they put one leg over here like this and finish. But that can happen, right? But for you guys, learn to, for basic practice, get in here. Sometimes like, oh, I, don't feel, ah, I don't get it. Boom, you could start working to at least reach the leg, right? All these different positions. So one more time, we hang out here. His arm is on there. I'm starting side control position number one. So it's not wrong controlling the shoulder. With gi though, it's hard to, uh, with no gi, it's hard to have this control. With gi, maybe it's easier. So the first thing I'm gonna do, bring my forearm, make him not be able to turn into me. Now my right hand grabs underneath. I try to choke here. He flares my arm out. I feel like I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna sit my hips out. Left, and if you're too far guys, right? No, there's no rule book that says you can't move back in. Right, if you overcommit, left leg comes over, right leg comes under. My armpit bites by his wrist, so I have this 90 degree bend. Get 
the heel hook grip behind the elbow, lift your hips up to apply the pressure. Sometimes you could control like this and finish this way. I like the heel hook type of grip, lift your hips up to get the submission down. So again, quick review, if I'm starting to play here, my partner turns towards me, it's very much harder for me to do anything I want. So if you kind of stand here, drive that wedge to the face here, so that if he tries to turn towards me, it's a battle for him. Right, push the face away, grab. So if his hand is in front here, we're gonna do that arm bar attack. But if his hand is underneath, once you make him walk away, you guys are gonna slide your hand under, you're lifting the shoulder, driving your forearm into him, and you put all your weight towards the neck here. Uh, sometimes your partner's gonna tap, sometimes he doesn't, but if you start driving, he starts to try to flare my elbow out. Look, uh, Bob, yes, look at that, look at that. He's gonna win here, he's gonna win here. Oh no, he's got it. Right away, I'm switching my base making sure that his arm, 90 degree angle, pinching by his wrist, right hand behind the elbow. So he doesn't run away from me. At the same time, bring my left leg over, right leg under, controlling the leg here. Now when I'm ready, connect my grip, like a heel hook position, like this was his heel, I slide under, grab here, and I'm going to uh, pull his elbow towards my face, and to make it stronger, we'll lift my hips up here. Right, lift my hips. Paul, so can, literally, he can't. He can't hip out because uh, because of your leg. Yeah, he can't. Yeah. He can't. Right, try. It. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult. And if he hips out and pulls this elbow out, go ahead, hip out. That's why we're talking it. about having this leg position, right? Because now, like, you're able to climb out the leg and go for it. So, guys, let's give it a try. Thanks. One, two, three.